All right, hi, my loves. Okay, so I'm recording from a different angle. I bought a new, um, like, different one that I could clamp over to the left of me. So I'm going to see how the recording goes. Because I want you guys to be able to see, you know, like, my acrylics. When I use this one that has, like, the big stand, the Akron one, I just don't feel like I can, like, you don't get to see as much, you know? So it's kind of like, eh. All right, so I decided I'm not going to use my, um, not really into this beauty concepts. It was cold the other day, so maybe that's the reason why, but still all in all, I want my nails to look good today, and I'm just not in the mood to try to figure it out and do all this. I just want my nails done, and that's that. All right, so I did buy these little snowflakes off of Amazon, although when I bought them, I didn't realize that I had a whole bag of snowflakes, so that was kind of stupid of me to buy, but whatever. Next Christmas, they'll be good. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, so I need a cover. I need, let's see, maybe I'll use this white instead. Maybe I'll just use Valentino. How about that? Let's just build on Valentino. Okay. We shall do some bad and bougie. Some white. Some clear. Um, yeah. So, also, I just want to open up real quick. This will probably be broken down into two videos anyway. So, I did buy myself a tile off of Amazon. It was like $7. I do have a pink one coming in though. So that's longer um but yeah so i'm gonna like decorate it or maybe put like gems around it or maybe i don't know do something to make it look more unique okay what else what else what else what else do i have to say um i think that's it uh got the snowflakes and then i did get some gel liners from mccart so let me show you what they look like. So these. I got the six liners with Gabby Angelique. I don't know who she is, but um, I don't know. When it is an influencer or something like that, I kind of just like buying them to support whoever they are. I actually don't know who she is, so I will be looking her up. Um... But I just figured, you know what, if she's a ambassador or any type of YouTuber or stuff like that, why not support a small brand, you know? So I bought it anyway. And they're like... Pretty, so... I mean, why not? Plus, I don't really have any liners. I do have... I need to just take my scissors out of here. I don't know why I'm being lazy and not just using this. So this is for like knitting or something like that. But I ended up using it as like my little utensils and stuff like that. Instead of having them all piled up next to me. So boom, boom. Let's look at these real quick because I might actually use some today instead of doing frenches actually i might just do some nudes and then use these because this has like a glitter yeah i'm gonna use these today so boom it's just black classic you know the silver the white glitter let's actually take these out so i can show you them really quick because then i can kind of figure out what i'm going to be doing too okay Sorry, y'all, that is making so much noise. But they have these suckers in. Like, they're not playing no games. I don't know if I should keep that. All right, so let's start with the black. Wow. It looks, like, nice and thick and very opaque. We'll see later, but the brush actually looks pretty dang decent. And uh, I think they're only, like, 40 bucks for all of these when, you know... Um, Kiara Sky be wanting, you know, want you to sell your soul for this. So they look opaque. That, that This gold is really pretty. So the black, 
gold. Now let's see the difference. These just look like they're both silver, but one's lighter and one's darker than the other. So, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'm using this one today. This will be really pretty, like, Christmassy. I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to do some nude nails, mostly nude. Oh, okay, yeah. That one is like a white, shimmery, almost snow. Wow, this is like super thick. They did not play no games when it came to the... So this might be a good thing. This might be a bad thing. You never know because it being too thick, you might not be able to like really draw nicely. So we'll see. This, this one is like particularly really, really thick. I'm definitely using that one today. I thought that is so pretty. Or is it this one? Oh, no, that one's it. I already did this one. That's the snowy one. And then this is like the white. Yeah. Yeah, these liners are no joke. They're not watery. They're like super thick. You see how thick that is? Which isn't like technically a bad thing. But it might... Oh, this one is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. I really like this color. Dang, this is really beautiful. Wow. Wow. So pretty. I will be doing a TikTok later on these. All right, so let's just put these right here for now. I want to just push my cuticles back, get that going, and then decide. I don't even know if I'm using forms today or if I'm going to do um, tips. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I just push my cuticles back, make sure all that on the nail plate is gone. And that's that. Okay. Do 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 Okay They're pushed back now sometimes when I had just recently pushed my cuticles back or they look good, I'll just kind of push my cuticles back with uh, the e-file. I'll kind of just do that at the same time. Okay, so I am going to be only at two because my nails are very fragile right now. So I don't want them to... I just want the slightest amount of shine off of them. Okay, so you want to go around the cuticle. Make sure all is off the plate and then down. And then if you're doing, you know, a client's, you want to go around and then just at an angle, you know. I just personally do it side to side when I'm by myself because it's at two. How is it going to really like... You know, that's why they say not to go side to side. It, but if you're a professional and you have control over your e-file, you're not going to lose it. I've seen even young nails. They say not to go side to side, but I've seen them in videos go side to side. So it's like, you know, just be careful. If you're a newbie, then obviously don't do something that you could potentially slip and, you know, hurt. Uh, yourself or a client. Alrighty, so. I just reversed it because I'm using my opposite hand. And I'm just, it's still at two. You know, you don't have to have it at a high speed. I learned, I, I was, you know, with my belt, I was going at like five on my natural plate, but this young nails e-file is very strong. Okay. It is not some, you know, Amazon 
e-file it is like for a professional and i'm not saying like i'm not trying to be cocky or anything like that but it is it's definitely a stronger there's nothing wrong i will be getting that um with nippers once i'm done you know after you clean your nails you might have to go in with some nippers or something like that get some the skin off of it get anything off the sides i just want to make sure that that right there i need to get that off i don't like that that will make you that will uh cause lifting okay got it i hate doing my right hand i'm not even gonna lie I hate doing my right hand I don't have I'm like really weak with it and I know I need to practice more with it and just put like um, you know like a base coat on my nails or like the protector so that the the nails just come off they come right off and then I could just keep doing different nails on myself to practice more and more and I'm not really pushing myself to have a like a lot of clients and doing clients. I'm kind of lazy. I'm not even going to lie. Not even going to front. All right. So I did that. Now I just take a dry manicure brush. Or you could take, you know, your regular brush if you want it all nice and pretty and uh you do it dry first and then i go in with the dehydrator and i've learned that a lot of people just make their own dehydrators they don't actually use the companies which i used to be really stuck up with that not not saying that i won't still use like i don't know i'm just conditioned to do it so i still use you know swipe with protein bond valentino's with valentino i just I, I i have them so i'm gonna just use what it's made for personally i don't care if you do it or not that's up to you that's your business you know what i'm saying okay Ooh. now i have these nail tips and i was thinking about using them but i just don't know if i want to or not you know I don't know if I want to or not. I mean, they would be cool. Because they are like that weird. I don't know. What do y'all think? Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. not really in the mood for these kind of nails so i brought them out the other day and i guess it's a no it's a no not these but should i do these these are more of a hassle though i'm not gonna lie these they're the, like the edge nails the edge tips these are definitely more of a hassle These are way too big though. What is this? A zero? Yeah. Alright, so a zero is definitely a no. Maybe we shall do these. Let's do these. F it. They're unique. Let's try a one and see if that works better. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Maybe I should do a two, actually. These seem a little big also. All right, so let's try two. They just seem too wide when I put them down. Yeah, the two is perfect. Let's do two. Let's do two. So these definitely run big. I do have a couple extras of these, so if anyone wanted to buy some, I'd sell them for, I don't know, 
like 15 bucks and like two dollars shipping maybe something like that let's try a five and see where that takes us let's try a five and see where that takes us that's definitely for the middle plate. Or maybe even a six. So we'll be doing six. We'll probably do six and sevens. Yeah, six. Six. And just because I'm a six over here doesn't mean I'm automatically a six over here, but I know that I am. So, six. Alrighty. So, I'm going to have to use the five for my middle because obviously the seven would be too big. So, I'm going to have to just get the five to fit me and just kind of file it down on the sides. Alrighty, and now let's try the pink eye. Let's try the cute little pinkies. My pinkies are very small, so. Do you guys like this way that I'm uh, recording now rather than just on the top? I feel like you could see more of what I'm doing. Um, But just let me know. I don't know if you guys like it or not. I just want to make sure y'all could see. I feel like from the top, it just was like an ugly view for some reason. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's just my opinion. My conspiracy, allegedly. All right, let's get some nail glue. And let's do the dang thing. Yeah, I figured it'd be a cool, different... Actually, wait, why is this... Whoa. The light wouldn't go in. Actually, should I do the left first? Okay. There we go. Boom. It was like it wouldn't go in. It's weird. There we go. Trying to pinch it so it fits on the nail perfectly. These are actually going on very smoothly, so I'm happy for that. And today I'm actually going to do my right hand first so I could get this dang nail out the way. These are going on pretty easy. I'm like shocked they're going on that easily. Okay. And with these, I don't know if I'm going to actually keep the point. I kind of just want them for... Um like the tip shape i don't really care to keep the point so i might actually go over that tips on now so that they're just done and over with whoa that one's way too high up why is that so why is that one like up so high my pinky is like okay 
kind of weird. Okay, strange. Yeah, these are sticking on really well, so I'm just going to put the tips on now. I don't feel like it's going to bother me too much. There we go. This glue is working, like, amazing today with these tips. Like, what's up? Maybe because it's nice and warm in here. It's, like, perfect weather to do nails. Okay. I'm not feeling this pinky on this hand, though. I'm not going to lie. So, I know some people that just put the dot right on the nail. You could do that too. It's up to you. You don't have to put it on the tip. It just depends on what you like to do. It doesn't really matter. It's not bad either way, you know. I just personally like putting it on the tip so that I know that the whole tip has glue on it. Versus like just putting a dot in the middle and then you don't know if it spread all the way or not. I mean, you can, but then like why change like have to take it off and put it back down and put more glue and do this when you could just do it right the first time you know yeah see this i'm gonna have to take this nail tip off because i don't like the way it's sitting on my nail I think that was like an eight or it was out of nine. Yeah, it was a nine. It was just too high up and I might as well get it done now before, you know, putting acrylic on it, then realizing I don't like it and then having to start all over. That's my problem. Sometimes I like let things go like, oh, it's not going to be too bad, but then it ends up being really bad. So like, just do it now. Just do it now. Get it over with and fix it. before you know it's too late there we go yes perfect all right way down it was looking a dang mess all righty so protein bond it is I probably should dehydrate it again. Nah, whatever. Let's let's try it out and see if if uh, it matters. I mean, I already dehydrated it once. I didn't really touch my nail plate too bad. It's it, it, now if I was touching my nail plate after protein bond, then I would re protein bond. But. I don't think it matters. Okay. Dang, my protein bond looks ugly and dirty. I have to... So, I'm thinking I'm just going to do some pinks and blues and one hand pink, one hand blue. And draw on some Frenches with those liners and see how I like them. Okay, protein bond. Wow, okay. There's no monomer in here. I thought I might have had some left, but I guess not. I guess not. I'm going to use a small brush today. Do I want to use this one? Hmm. Maybe I'll use my Ugly Ducklings one. But I will put some... Oh, there's a couple bristles that are sticking out here. I'm not feeling that. Just making sure that the bristles are okay. I shall clean that later. Let's do... 
Ugly Duckling number eight. I'm gonna use Ugly Duckling today. So the more brushes that I have, the more I realize that I don't use my Young Nails one as much. Cause it is a number 10. I really do like my number eight, especially when I am doing, you know, like my right hand. I don't have good control really with my left hand doing my right hand. So that's why, um, you know, I will uh, use a number eight. So I do have some leftover glitters and stuff like that in here. This will be my nude that I'm using. This will be, you know, pink if I want to use pink. Silver if I want to use some silver. I already have some of those in there. And then blue. I love these, y'all. Go check out Eno Couture. It's a whole, like, set. It looks like, like, it's like the style of, like, the Russian dolls. Because you get this and then you get a couple more. And they are smaller, smaller, smaller. But I love it because, look, they're still in here waiting for me from the last time that I did my nails. So it's like, I don't know. It's just so easy to deal with. They're in there. I don't have to, you know, be bothered. I think I want to put a little more blue like look how much they stuff their mylar you know i mean young nails don't play no games <laughs> they don't play no games all right i think i'm gonna put a little white in here too because there's not i used most of the white last time so let's put a little this is my little christmas mix and then this is just like glitter like fine glitter so let's just put that right there in case i want to dip like clear in it or something all right so let's just oh no 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 no! i don't want my ugly ducklings brush to get ugly i hope that doesn't do anything to it so let's put the monomer over here and let's put this right here all righty so let's do this let me take a sip of my bang i like putting fresh fruit in it sometimes All right, y'all. I'm going to do a that's just like a Frenchie over here. And to be honest, I should have drained this so that it was easier to work with. Maybe I will do an edge now. It's already there, why not? I'm gonna try to really do it nice and slow and neat so that I don't have a lot of filing to do, you know? There must be something out there for my dog to be. Okay, let's get that. I wanna make sure that the bottom stays clean. All right, let's do a little more. This time I'm going to drain it. And do this side a little bit better. You know? And then kind of blend it up a little. So that when I use Bad and Bougie. It will. And I might actually... Um, Put a couple snowflakes or something on it so that it's not so boring. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just add a little bit of clear and just pick up 
some snowflake, some mylar, some white, okay. Let's not do any pink on this one. Oh no, that's way too much. That's way too big. Yellow's glare and just add a little extra. Boom, boom. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Now I want to put some nude on my nail plate. I love how. Valentino's covers well just their uh you know sometimes their their colors might you know uh, marble a little bit but overall you know Valentino's acrylics are so buttery like I don't have any complaints when it comes to the quality but to be honest everybody's colors sometimes like some of them are just prone to marble you can't really help it i mean there's just nothing some pigments are just like that so you can't really blame the company you know it's just their glit i mean their acrylics are just so buttery i love their core products and that's why I have a lot of their colors even because even if they marble a little bit, they're worth dealing with. I'm going to drain that because I kind of just want to put this right here so that it blends a little more downward, you know, because the rest of it I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cap it and clear more because I don't want to mess up the um, snowflake. So I'm going to, you know, blend it a little bit, make it a little transparent. But for the most part, I'm going to, you know, I want it to be in the nude a little bit, but most of it is going to be capped and clear. Get a bigger pearl, let that boom, set, set it down, release, and then let it go. Put your finger downward. You know, I want to do it so that um, I don't really have to file that much, you know? Like I said, I'm doing it in smaller beads, in smaller sections, so that there's no problems. It's really nice and warm today, so it's like perfect. I might actually do each side so that I could keep that point, like that edge look. Sorry, that was like a little hard to release. I don't know if I had something on my brush. I want to keep it 
I want to keep it edged, you know, and perfect. Obviously, I still will need to file a little bit, but I want it to. And I don't want it to be like a harsh edge either, like on the like the top. I don't need it to be like super harsh. As long as it's like a little pointy, I don't mind. Alright, I'm not grabbing the acrylic in a nice way. So I'm going to... I really do like these tips a lot. They make it so much easier to do, you know, like an edge nail. I love it. And, uh, yeah, I bought like eight packs, eight sets of these. And I do kind of like a drag and dab. I know some people only do, you know, uh, like dip, dip, dip. I do like a drag and dip dip. I kind of do like what uh, Kirsty Meekin does. She kind of does like both. Okay. It's not perfect, but hey. Alright, one more over the nail plate, and then I shall be done with this nail. I just love how buttery Valentino is, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, I used to be really harsh with like, oh, they're colors, they're overpriced. But in reality, you know what? There are some shitty ass companies out there that charge just as much or more. And it's not buttery. And it's trash. And it's cheap. You know. And they don't have good work ethic. And they're just rude ass people. So... You know what? Over time, I have learned to understand that sometimes pricing is done for a reason. So, you know, like, their quality is really good. And they're just so buttery. Every time I don't do Valentino for a while, right, and then I go back to it, I'm like, dang, they're really buttery. Like, I, I almost forget how buttery they are. Until I do them again. Alright, I didn't like that bead. I don't I think it's like the be in the position that I'm doing. I don't like when like my acrylic goes on the other side of the the brush. Okay. Half of it on this side and half of it on this side. Sorry. I thought I was done, but when I put more on the um on my nail plate, it kind of made it look weird. All right, so boom, 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 boom. Just want to try to make it so that it I feel like there's a little too much right there but I'll take that off when I um obviously you know file all right so this nail I'll just do all glitter so I'll put some clear down 
just put some clear on the nail plate. Oh, I need to cut that skin off. I might actually do that after I'm done with my nails so that I heard that on a video. They were like, you know, don't cut certain things on your nail plate because once you, when you're filing, you might end up um, making yourself bleed because you put uh, too much, you know, pressure and you're like cutting too much and you're making it more sensitive and more receptacle to getting the okay let's put I almost forgot I had all these. All these other glitters and stuff. Alright, so boom. Put a snowflake right on my nail bed. <laughs> Some of that will end up getting filed off because you have to have it like thin, you know. I'm feeling good today I, I'm I'm feeling good I like how I'm feeling today the other day when I did my nails I wasn't I think I was just forcing myself and I wasn't in a good mood and I wasn't feeling well and I was just trying to make myself do it because I wanted my nails done but you know when you're in pain and you just don't really want to do something you kind of don't want to do it and then you it just doesn't it's not artistic as good like it's not as good because you're forcing yourself to do it. You're not really artistically in it. Um, and then last night, uh, I kind of started going on YouTube and finding like art pages to kind of start teaching me how to do draw art a little bit. So I started with like practicing my shapes and like boxes and then 3D boxes. And they were saying like um, to like... Uh, you know like draw circles and then do like dots on each side and try to draw with your whole arm not just your wrist if you just do with your wrist you're more than likely going to make it like crooked it won't be as like perfect you gotta like practice with doing it with your whole arm that's what he said anyway i'll tell you guys um the page once i'm done with this nail I'll go on my YouTube and let you know because I saved it because I'm going to go back and keep doing it. I was just drawing in my phone, but today I'm going to actually later, I'm going to actually do it on like in a notebook. So let's see if I can find it. Well, I'll definitely be able to find it, obviously, because I saved the video. Plus, I could just go on my liked videos. But I know I saved it. 
So that piece of the snowflake was sticking up, so I like push the acrylic underneath it to make sure that it doesn't cause a bubble in my nail or like a piece that doesn't have acrylic on it, you know? All right, so boom, 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 boom. You know, pat each side. If it's, if you've never done these nails before, then maybe just do each side one by one. Don't, you know, put the acrylic in the middle and then try to float it on each side like I'm doing. I've done these nails a few times, so plus um it's nothing that filing can't fix, so All right. So this nail I feel like is a little thickums. I think cuz I was trying to cover up that snowflake Or maybe it just looks thick. I don't know. I mean, it looks a little bulky, but nothing that I can't fix. Like I said, we're filing. Alrighty. So, this nail I'm going to just do all nude. Because I want to use that liner brush and do like a couple... Um, or maybe I don't have to do Frenchies with it. I could just do some line work or something with it to show... Make sure it's set. Like, look how pillowy that acrylic is. I just, I don't know. The more, you know, I haven't used Valentino in a while, the more I realize I really actually miss Valentino. Young Nails and Valentino are my absolute favorite acrylics. Um... Maybe one day I will have to really sit down... And uh, do like a video and really decide if it came down to it, which brand would I pick? You know, like if it came down to it, would I choose Young Nails for real? Or do I choose them because they're great quality, but they're also cheaper? Like I feel like the price really reflects on like why i choose young nails number one and i'm just being honest you know what i mean like because they are a great brand but they're also like really affordable you know what i'm saying compared to other brands they're super affordable and you could just buy them when they go on sale and just be set for the year like you literally are good for the whole year just because of their sales, you know. But I wonder if that sways it so much that I'm blinded by the their quality. You know what I mean? Obviously, they're not trash. I'm not saying that they're trash by any means. But I'm just saying, like, would I have as much Young Nail stuff if they weren't as good on sales as they are? You know what I'm saying? Like, would I have all Valentino stuff? If because to be honest, I could have just bought all Valentinos, I could have bought the whole set with how much money I spent on freaking Young Nails and Valentino over the last like year or so. I literally could have just bought Valentino's whole collection. I don't know why I didn't. 
which I have most of his collection to be honest actually there's just a few that I don't have but I have like his main colors and things like that but I kind of do want like the whole color and all the glitters I love his color like his covers are just so gorgeous His colors are absolutely beautiful. Sorry, y'all. I hope I'm in camera's view. Just want to make sure. this way and make sure that it's so if any of y'all have snapchat add me on there um it's evn underscore fairy yeah if any of y'all have snapchat that's more personal it's not just going to be about nails it's just you know posting cooking chatting just pictures whatever it's just more personal i'm not gonna like it's not gonna be like all the time nails and stuff will i post nails on there yeah because if i'm doing nails i'll probably post on them like post them but it's not like you know you know what i'm talking about And I know I'm going like with tiny beads, but I just feel like it's easier for me to do it that way so that I keep my shape and I don't, you know, flood my nail. It's just easier. So I feel like there's like a like a little bit right there that uh is just off. So I'm going to do my nail bed and then if anything's extra I'm gonna let it come down because like you see right there it's off. Look how pillowy. Oh my gosh. I just love Valentino's products. Look how pillowy and soft and just perfect. Look at that. that was perfect all right so it filled up what i needed like that little bit of extra but it also fixed what i needed um like around my cuticle you know all right so boom boom a little thickums on this side but yeah this side's a little bit thicker but oh no all right got it see there was a little bit of acrylic on the bottom 
Okay. All right, so it's going good. I'm I'm feeling it. I like I like it so far. So we're going to do more of a white, no. Yeah, white nail maybe. White and blue. All right, let me um put a little clear. Okay. We'll do just because of the glitter, and I might as well put a little clear on this one too. That's a baby pinky. Y'all know I got little baby ass. Okay, let's do. Christmas is you. Okay, and then do a little bit of mylar, some more blue, get some facets of purpley blue and whites in there and get some blue Look at that. Look at that. And then around the cuticle. Take it. Push it perfectly around like a little pillow. Okay. I need to back that up a little bit. Because I actually want to keep that up there Just want to make sure the apex is there and then okay and then blend down blend down blend down blend down blend down
Okay, I really need to... I keep putting white over there, but I keep wiping it away. <laughs> so I need to drain it and really just stick it there and not let it move. Okay, and then put it on this side too. And then I need to put it on this side too. Do any of y'all ever favor a side? I usually do. I usually like... Will favor this side and then kind of like neglect the other side. I don't see it as... You know, because it's like not in your face. So you don't see it as well. Alrighty. So boom. I need to add a little more blue over here. I want to make sure that all the glitter is off of my brush. Okay, clear it is. I do need to clean up my cuticle, so I will be doing that in a second. Because I feel like since it's white, you can really see it. This one looks terrible. Let me fix it. Okay, so that looks... Let's blend that a little bit. I feel like it needs to go up. There we go. Up, 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 up. like a little acrylic right here that needs to be off get it off the skin get it off the skin there we go I need just a little bit Okay, cool. Boom. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but trust me, once it's filed and everything is like, you know, perfectly straight. Now, I know these are like really short nails, but, you know, with holiday time coming and all that, I don't want to overdo myself. Oh, I need to fix my cuticle. So I do a really small bead, drain it. And I'm going to set it down and move it to exactly where I need to fill in those spots. Y'all know I do like a higher apex, so 
if this is too thick for you they're not on your fingers so who cares you know all right so actually this one needs to have a little more this thumb needs a little more actually Okay, pinky and that's it. I think I'm gonna do... Another clear? No, another nude. We're gonna do another nude and just have a nice nude. So let me know if y'all like this angle better. It was on sale on Amazon, this new phone holder for the desk. So I was like, you know what? Let me do this and see if I like it better. Because I wasn't really feeling the way... Like, the Akron is good. You know, it's good quality. It's big. Um, very hefty. But at the end of the day... Um, it just doesn't give the angle I want. Because I want you guys to see all the acrylics. And I want you to see me doing my nails. And I feel like with that, the way it was, it was like my head was in the way. And you really couldn't um, see what I wanted to really show y'all. You know? But that's just my opinion if y'all like the other way i will do it like it really doesn't matter what i like it's i just assumed that y'all would like this way better so that you could actually see me doing my nails and actually see like just see it better i feel like the angle's just better but if it's not let me know i will f change it I shall change it. Once it goes shiny, boom, it's ready. Just to let y'all know. I can't, uh, I don't know why. I mean, I can't wait until I lose like a couple pounds so I can wear my ring again. It really bothers me that I can't wear my ring. <laughs> like, I love my ring. I feel naked without it. You know, I don't feel right. But at least I could wear one of my rings. For now, anyway. And then, once I lose a couple pounds. And I'm not as dehydrated. Because my fingers are just fat as hell. I honestly don't even think it's just really, like, my weight. It's honestly, like, I f I'm just so dehydrated and no matter how much water i drink maybe it's like the medication i'm on and it's like bothering me or something i don't know what the hell every now and then i just like my fingers get super fat and my rings are hard because even this one it usually is loose but it's like actually like perfect on me and it used to be loose so i'm like Thank God I could even wear this one because it actually, um, it was comfortable on. It wasn't like loose where it was like going to fall off, but you know, it was still loose. It wasn't tight on me at all. So 
So did any of y'all end up watching um college like Life of College Girls or whatever that shit's called? I thought it was funny as hell. But I like Nico. Like I like um I loved him in Sabrina, so he's the reason why I even gave it a chance. It was funny anyway, like the like what is it, the uh preview or whatever. It was funny. So I, I think I would have ended up giving it a chance regardless, but him promoting it is what made me see it. That's what it is. Which I would have probably ended up seeing it anyway because I have HBO Max. But there's not a lot of stuff on HBO Max that I like. You know, it's like all old stuff. So it's like, <laughs> it's like no point. Okay. Doop. I'm literally doing like a smallest bead like right here. I feel like there was like an indent. Which can be filed off anyway. Alright, so boom, that's done. I'm on to my other hand. I shall do... I really didn't do many snowflakes, huh? I just put one there, one there. So I'll make sure to do another snow... I think because they're so big, so it's like kind of hard to put them on, you know? But yeah, if any of y'all watch it, let me know if you like it. It is kind of raunchy and vulgar, so if you don't like those kind of shows, then definitely don't watch it.
pillowy, pillowy. All right, let me put it this way so I can show you guys. Got that cuticle snatched. Okay, make sure. Obviously, I have to build it up a little more, you know, on my apex, but at least I got it. At least I got it. Okay, nice and sheen. Boom. Call it a day. And if you want your clear to not be cloudy, then you want it, you want to do your clear wet, like do it more wet. You have to practice like doing acrylic wet. The clear it anyway. So I was watching, um, Emily Susanna's, um, like young nails thing and like I was kind of shocked that she was like I felt like she was like not satisfied with the hundred dollar box I was like actually shocked because <laughs> like they give you such expensive stuff but I guess she was just like uh I think she wanted more like small things maybe you know but I was actually shocked I was like wow she like seemed a little disappointed in the um the box a little bit not like disappointed but like you know what i mean like i guess because she's not used to young nails so i don't think think she knew what to expect but uh yeah i was just like a little surprised you know that uh when she got to the end of the box she was like that's it and i was like holy shit like for a hundred bucks, I mean the monomer alone is seventy three dollars. You know, gel polish, good quality gel polish is expensive, and a thirty two ounce of swipe, and I mean it was just like a lot. I was just shocked that. And I don't feel like Young Nails is runny. I mean you have to like she's not really a an a, an acrylic girl. You know she loves her like full cover gels. And that's fine. I'm not saying that that's cheating, but like, you know what I mean? It's not, you're not doing acrylic all the time. So you're not really a master. What she's gotten so much better at her acrylics. Like, holy shit. They do look good. You know what I mean? But I don't think Young Nails is watery. I feel like she wasn't drained. Like, you know, when you do your cuticle bead, if it's too wet, then you need to learn how to like drain it and make sure that it's drained before you put it on the cuticle so that um it doesn't uh you know flood your cuticle at all. That's all. She's one of my favorite YouTubers though. Like honestly I just love watching her I know she doesn't even do like much acrylic <laughs> to be honest and I'm not a really I'm not really into like the full cover gel tips like that I have like so many I don't even know why I buy them like I like the the look of them but then actually putting them on I don't really like them very much like in general I rather just do acrylic you know I love doing nails but I think that's the difference between you know some people that are just like nail enthusiasts and just like, you know, just like getting their nails done and just having their nails done and maybe doing, uh, selling acryl, um, selling like full cover tips and all that, you know, there's just a difference between an actual nail tech that like loves doing acrylics and doing the, like actually making nails versus just like putting them on and just wearing them you know and there's nothing wrong with that like i love the fact that the nail industry is booming and people are getting their recognition for their art and you know 
that this industry shouldn't be shunned upon like how they do i mean like people don't get their credit at all for their artistic ability and like their business ethic and how they run their business and just everything i mean we just don't the nail industry gets crapped on just like the hair industry and i'm not gonna lie i used to be one of those people that used to be like what i'm not paying this much money for no damn uh hair dye like you know what i mean like but when you when it comes down to it and you really get like some balayage and like crazy stuff you need to know your science you need to know how to to actually do it you know it's not easy i wouldn't be able to do that i know how to dye my hair black i know how to bleach it and do a little bit of color but like basic that's it i don't know how to do nothing else there's like a little divot right there and it's peeing me off. It like won't go away. There we go. Okay. I don't like that divot right there. It like won't go away. There we go. There we go. I need to just build it up a little more. Snowflakey, snowflakies. Let me put a little bit of my mama. And I didn't do them extremely long this time, I know. I kind of just wanted them at a normal length. So that I could actually, like, just do cleaning and do stuff without them bothering me, you know? Just saying. That's why. Look at that pillowy perfection. And, um, Valentino works just as good with Young Nails Monomer. Um, with, like, their Monomer and Young Nails, they're pretty much the same. I don't see a difference where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have... But I did, they had, like, some crazy sale the other day where, like, their whole kit, which is, like, a hundred and something dollars, was, like, seventy. So I did get it. So I have another new monomer coming. Which I'm excited. And I know I just bought more Valentino. Like their cover colors. So I got another set of covers. It has like bad and bougie. It has a top coat, a monomer. And then I had a 15% off code. So I even got 15% off of that, which was dope because it paid for the shipping. And then I still got a couple bucks off. So I was happy. I was happy. I was happy. I was happy, 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 happy. Let's turn this around. Yes, 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 yes. But, alright, so, you know how some people, like, waste... Do you see the acrylic that I wasted? Boom, nothing. I don't like when people 
you that's why I, that it's pointless to use like a number 20 brush because you're wiping half your acrylic and monomer away it bothers me why waste your products i don't understand that i truly don't understand why anyone would want to sit there and waste their products is beyond me but whatever if you want to do that cool i don't I've never been the type to like want to sit there and waste my products. You know, and I'm not coming at anyone if that's what you want to do, but just think about it. Why is it that I don't have hardly any extra acrylic on my paper towel and then other people do they'll have like a whole damn jar of acrylic on their damn paper towel for what why did you waste all that i don't understand it okay that's just me you know don't get me wrong, I would love to know, like, the one ball method. I think it looks really cool. It's, like, kind of addicting to watch. I get it. Um, but at the same time, you know, if I'm going to do a one ball method, I'm going to learn how to control a bead that freaking big. And I'm going to um, not waste my product. Just saying. I know some people, when this would happen, they would just build up their, um, their cover, but sometimes I just use clear instead, you know, it depends on what you want to do. Okay. Plus you save your cover. Cover colors are cost more than a and clear sometimes, so you know. You could uh Okay. I feel like this looks a little bulky right here. I'll have to really um, file that down. Alrighty. Next is going to be all nude. All nude. Okay. drop it down this bead is a little watery but with valentino unless it's like super water it doesn't really run you could wipe out 
the monomer in your brush but other than that you know if you do have too much monomer in your brush just drain it out but other than that when you drop that down just try to finesse it around your cuticle pretty and then blend it out all right keep going here I'm going to maybe just do each side this time. Okay. Yeah, these tips make it a lot easier. Um, when I first used them, they were super hard, but I didn't really have control over my acrylic the way I do now. I didn't learn as I, you know, I wasn't as good to be honest. Not saying that I feel like I still have a lot of room to improve. I still have a lot, uh, like a long way to go personally, because I want to be like amazing. And I kind of slack off and, you know, need to work on my nails a lot more than I do, to be honest. And I know that, you know, but people don't understand that when you're in chronic pain and you feel like shit... Who wants to be in a room of chemicals and monomer and shitty ass smelling products, you know? Because personally, I'm used to monomer smell, but it still doesn't smell good. I mean, like, does it bother me? No. Um, no monomer bothers me except for OPI and uh, Kira Sky. Or Glam and Glitz because they're the same damn company. But other than that, like, I, uh, you know, when you're not feeling good and you feel like crap, this isn't the place you where you want to be. Now, if I wasn't just mentally, then yeah, you know, nails really lets me zone out and just, you know, have fun or whatever. But I do need to practice on my art more. That's why I started Googling and YouTubing art pages that will help me a little bit better because I do need to learn art I don't I'm not good at it and that's just a fact you know what I mean I know I'm not good at art I'm more of an abstract I like just doing encapsulations and shit like that um, you know what I mean I'm not really into but I want to be. I'm not saying that I, I don't want to be. Like, I want to be into art. I think it's... Nails look beautiful. I'm sorry about my dog. There's probably some a neighbor or something parking and he's acting crazy. He swears somebody want to hurt me or something. <laughs> Bronny. Please be quiet, bruh. He swears somebody want to hurt me. Okay. Like I said, every now and then, just press on the side so that it kind of still stays out of... It just will help you so that you don't have as much filing. That's all, pretty much. That's all. You know what I mean? Alrighty. Let's go. Down. I must have something from Amazon because I heard a uh, like a sliding door. You okay, Bron Bron? Is the house protected? Thank you. Thank you for protecting the house. Thank you, baby. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do half and cut the other half off. Like I'm going to put acrylic and I'm going to cut the other half. I'm just going to encapsulate it with the star I mean the um, snowflake sticking off so that I can just um snip it off once it's like in place you know what I mean I think it'll be easier, you know, once it's like stuck on the nail, it'll be easier to, uh, So I did it really milky so that it'll look like more like snow, you know. That's a little too flooded though, so let me get that off. Boom. Okay. Let me get any glitter out. Okay. Oh, let me uh, tell y'all, if anybody wants to work on art, let me show y'all the page. Um, watch later. So Brad's art. The Google app is the better way to search. Brad's art school it has 308,000 subscribers so learn how to draw for beginners it just starts with shapes and stuff like that I just think it'll be um, good for anyone that is wanting to do art too you know let me take a sip of my I have to file still and I have to um well, I still have to finish the nails, but I have to go grocery shopping tonight, too, and, you know. All right, let me encapsulate. Bam, 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 bam. I think I'm going to just do my pinky nude and call it a day. Okay, once that acrylic dries, I shall file off, you know, the other side of the snowflake. 
What time is it? Oh, it's only 5 o'clock. Wow, I'm getting these nails done quick. Cool. Alright. Let's get this shit out of the way. So... Oh, I'll have these done by six. All right, I'm gonna let this because I'm not done. I want to actually cut off the snowflakes first because I want to make sure that. Um, that it's sealed in so I'm going to let that go and I'm just going to move on to my um, to my pinky Yeah, I'm going to move on to my pinky because once that dries a little bit, I'm going to take scissors and snip that off. And then obviously when I do the file, that's when it'll like, you know, be perfect. But I kind of want to make sure that it's like fully encapsulated with acrylic and the edges aren't going to just be loose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I start to like take a shower. I need to go grocery shopping. I already did like the dishes, cleaned up and stuff like that. So Oh, and I start to do dinner. So that's why I'm trying to get this done by six so that I could get dinner done by six forty five because I'm just doing homemade meatballs and spaghetti. I was thinking about doing tacos, but then everybody said spaghetti. I put it on my Snapchat, and that's what everyone and my bestie uh, Evelyn said spaghetti. She actually said I should do uh, taco spaghetti. I think that's what she said. Anyway. Sorry if you can't see if my other fingers are, I just need them to be able to be balanced also. So with these, you could use them just as like, You could do it as like a Russian almond. You could use these as a Russian almond and not do like the edge. Like it go to a point. You don't have to have them at a point. Just do enough acrylic to kind of like round that out. It doesn't have to be pointed as much as I have them. You could do them whatever way you want. So it's up to you the way you want to do these uh, tips.
this side is thicker than the other side. Yeah, this side is thicker. I need to put a little more on this side because it's. I mean, I'll have to file some of that off, but this side is just too thin, so. I'm super hyped up about my tile. I can't wait until my pink one comes in. Let me show y'all real quick. <laughs> Look at my cute little tile. And then I'll have it always right here. So when I want to do like art or do anything like that, I can just boom, boom. Boom shakalaka. Okay. So I need to finish this one. So I need to cut this. Where are my scissors at? Boom, boom. Like just to get it at least a little bit nice so that it's not, you know what I mean? Get those edges off so that. What, what shows are y'all into right now? I can't wait. Mandalorian is about to be released, so I'm going to definitely be on that i've been waiting forever for the mandalorian but um all right just pushing Alrighty, so now i could uh just finish the encapsulation just to make sure that you know the edges because i don't want that to be able to lift so i want to be able to put a whole clear amount of acrylic on the uh, nail but what shows are y'all into i just watched i can hear you that's like a chinese drama show i wish they did one more than one season but they didn't so that kind of sucks but the dude that uh the chinese dude in it is like super cute they be finding, like, the cutest Asian boys. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are ugly as hell. I've never dated uh, anyone. Um, from my race. I've never dated an Asian. They just aren't around my area like that. And if they are, they're ugly as hell. Sorry. And I just don't know any. So, yeah. You know, if they looked like the boys on these Netflix shows, I probably would have dated one. <laughs> Not saying that looks or everything, but shit. They cute. You know? So. That looks a little wide. There we go. Fix that. I just looked a little wide. Alrighty, boom, boom, shaka laka. Let me do one more little tip right here, and one more little tip right here, and go backwards and backwards. And let's make sure. I just want to make sure that. Even if I have to file it off, I just want to make sure, you know, since it was on the edge, I want to make sure that that snowflake is really in there. Okay. I think I'm done. Boom. Boom, baby. Make sure that there's no glitter in my brush for next time. Let's put this beautiful thing away. Let's clean up and let's file. Alrighty, so I will be back for part two. I'm not going to prolong this video any longer, um, but go watch part two. Peace.